fly lady. One very complicated lady on the surface. When you dig a little bit deeper, not so bad, but when you first look at fly lady website, whew, for me, overwhelm. Ironically, I found the fly lady website quite cluttered, but I've narrowed it down. I think this is what fly lady system is. So let's get into it. Fly lady in the morning, make your bed. Get dressed all the way to your shoes. Swish and swipe, which means clean your bathroom just on the surface. Swish the toilet bowl. Swipe on the counter. Wipe the counter. Start your laundry. Eat your breakfast. And empty the dishwasher. And plan your day so you know what the day is going to hold for you. In the afternoon, now if you're a working person, you can add some of these to your morning routine or add them to as soon as you get home from your work type routine. What's for dinner? Ugh, that question every day, every day. What's for dinner? Drink water. If you're not healthy, you're no good to anybody. Drink your water. Declutter, 15 minutes only. In your zone, we'll get into zones later, but just declutter 15 minutes. Your house didn't become the way it is in a day and it's not going to get fixed in a day. 15 minutes at a time you're going to declutter. Reboot your laundry from the laundry that you've already started first thing in the morning and 15 minutes of exercise. Again, just like drinking your water, if you're not healthy, you're no good to anybody. Stay healthy. In the evening before bed, check your calendar. What is tomorrow going to bring? What Lay out your clothes for tomorrow. Goes hand in hand with checking your calendar. What do you need to wear tomorrow? Put your clothes out so you know where everything is. The whole outfit, put it all out. Because remember, you're gonna get dressed first thing in the morning, all the way down to your shoes. So put those clothes out. Launch pad just means, especially if you work outside the house, put all of your stuff, your purse, your keys, your wallet, everything. For me, the dog leash, everything on the launch pad. That's what you need first thing in the morning. And you don't want to spend extra time in the morning running around trying to find these silly things. Two minutes hot spot. At the end of the day, we all have a hot spot. I'll show you mine later. It's a little bit embarrassing. The kitchen table. Clean it off. And if you do it every day, it's only going to take two minutes. I agree with that. That's a big one. Shine your sink. Basically clean your whole kitchen. Go to bed with a clean kitchen. Now, fly lady just says shine your sink, but I, it'll be hard. Once you get started and you shine that sink, you're just going to clean the rest of the kitchen. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to wake up to a shiny, clean kitchen in the morning. That's fantastic. And then wash your face, do your teeth, get ready for bed and go to bed at a decent hour. It's just like being healthy. If you're tired and grumpy, you're no good to anybody. So go to bed at a decent hour, and then it sets you up for success in the morning. Now this is not all fly lady. There's more. I had to put it on the back. We have the zones. So every week of the month is a different zone. You focus on that. You do detail, detailed cleaning of that area of your house. We have daily missions. That is to do with your zones. A detailed cleaning list. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You do a different thing each day of the week. A home blessing, a plan and play, anti-procrastination day. Run errands, do your car and purse. The weekly home blessing is then broken down even more into, so once a week, you're not supposed to spend more than an hour on this, vacuum, dust, mop, polish your mirrors and doors, purge magazines. How many magazines? Do people still do magazines? That is 
a little bit of a complaint I have about the Fly Lady website. It seems a little bit out of date, but Purge magazines, papers, that sort of thing, change your sheets and empty the trash. Now, of course, you need to customize this to fit your life because there's a big difference from being in a huge mansion, huge house to being in a little studio apartment. Things will take longer, you'll have different rooms, but do what you can to make it work for you. Back to the front of my handy dandy little chart. This looks like a lot. At first you're like, wow, 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 wow. 19 items. But of the 19 items, if you count them, only eight of them really have to do with cleaning your house. The other things that Fly Lady puts into the system, things like drink your water, exercise, brush your teeth, that is for you, not necessarily for your home. So it's not all just about cleaning your house. It's about being organized, being healthy, being relaxed, going to bed at a decent hour, those things just add to your overall satisfaction in life. So that's Fly Lady in a nutshell. Now Fly Lady does have a fantastic app on your phone. It is called Fly Lady Plus for some reason, not just Fly Lady. And it has all of this for you written out and you can check it and you can customize it. If you don't have a dishwasher, delete that one. If you don't have an extra bathroom or a spare bedroom or just customize it to yourself that works for yourself. So I'm going to give it a try. Today is day one. Now that I have it figured out and I'll let you know in a week how it is going. Fly lady day one, make your bed. Lucky for me, we have a rule in this house, last one up has to make the bed and I am rarely the last one up. So that is an easy check mark because I don't have to make the bed. It's always made for me. Bathroom number two, this one's gonna take a little bit longer because even a quick swish and swipe, this is the bathroom that my son uses and I usually leave the cleaning up to him which means it doesn't get cleaned very often let's be honest so let's get to it Done. Again, I just tried to stick with the basics with the, with the swish and swipe. But I find the hardest part is getting started. But once I'm started, oh, I just want to really, really clean. But I'm trying to stick with the rules. Just a quick little surface clean today. Bathroom number three. This one should be nice and easy because it's just a half bath. Just a sink and a toilet. Should be nice and fast. Laundry time, Fly Lady says, do a little bit of laundry every day. I'm going to try doing a little bit of laundry every day. I guess part of doing laundry is putting away the laundry. Yuck. 
I can do laundry all day long. Washing machine, dryer, folding it, putting it in the basket, not a problem. Going that extra step from the basket to putting it away, yuck. But maybe if I do it every day, it will get easier. Let's see, today is just day one. Put it all away today, this is a lot. This is like a week's worth of laundry. So again, day one, I'm finding it's taking a lot longer, a little bit harder because I'm behind the eight ball. But tomorrow when I go to do laundry, because I finished it all today, it should be easy peasy. That's the plan going forward. Each day, progressive day, should get easier. That's the plan. Onwards and upwards. Progress, not perfection. So I do agree that if you keep up with it, it's easier. Unfortunately, I didn't keep up with it yesterday and I went to bed with a messy kitchen, which means I woke up to a messy kitchen. Then all the breakfast things from everybody and piles, piles, piles. Consistency. I think Fly Lady is all about consistency. So day one, clean the kitchen. Then tomorrow when I wake up, ooh, 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 it'll be all clean. Although it's morning right now, so I'll have to clean it before I go to bed. But it'll be easier because it will be shiny clean already once today. So get at it. Feels good. Feels good. I feel I could do a cheer, not a cheerleader, so just feels good to have a clean kitchen. There you go. And I'm back in the laundry room because Fly Lady says in the afternoon, evening, or maybe morning, if you have time, you have to reboot your laundry. So do not forget about it in the washing machine and then have to redo it again tomorrow because it's been sitting there for 24 hours. Do it on the same day. So I'm here to do laundry second time around. Laundry round two is done. Mark, oh yay! Go me, go me. Every day, Fly Lady says declutter for 15 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer and tackle this cupboard. We'll see what I can do in 15 minutes. So here's what 15 minutes of decluttering will get you. Nice, and it only took 15 minutes, but now I'm kind of panicking. I'm thinking, should that 15 minutes have been in my zone? I don't know, I have to look at my zone, not sure what the zone is, but oh well, I did it, it looks great, it feels good. 15 minutes decluttering, yay. It's the end of the day, so clean the kitchen before I go to bed. Shouldn't be too hard, there's not really much. Put away the clean dishes from before. Just tidy up and then I will wake up tomorrow to a clean kitchen. Let's start the evening routine. Done. Again. Yay. Ooh. Now on to the next, which is hot spot. 
Fly Lady wants you to clean off your hot spot every day. This is embarrassing, but it's my hot spot. It is my kitchen table. This is not one day's worth of clutter. This is probably a week. I'd like to blame the dog. He's a cute, lovely, love the dog, but he likes to take your shoes. As soon as you walk in the house, if you don't put your shoes away, he takes them. He doesn't chew them necessarily, but he walks around the house. We grab them and we throw them on the kitchen table. Does that make sense? No, it's not. It doesn't take that much more time to put them away, but for some reason we throw them on the kitchen table. And then once there's one shoe on the table, we just add other shoes. It really honestly collects. Like attracts like. Clutter attracts clutter. The more you have on the table, then it doesn't matter. Then we don't put our jackets away when we come in the house. Then we have an empty purse there when we change purses. We have an advent calendar. It's only the end of October. We have another month. We have got mittens, bags, everything, food from uh, lunches from work, toques, trays for sprouting sprouts in. This table collects everything. Fly Lady says once a day, deal two minutes with your hot spot. Day one today, it's gonna take a little bit longer than two minutes because there's so much stuff here. But hopefully, the plan is to keep up with it and tomorrow, it will only take two minutes. And now, every day, this will not take long, less than two minutes, probably less than 30 seconds to keep this clean, this hot spot. Daily consistency. I think that is the key to Fly Lady is daily consistency. This is just day one, but I'm liking it. So that is Fly Lady day one. Day two should be easier because you wake up to a clean kitchen. Your hot spot is clean. You've had a decent night's sleep. So don't get discouraged if it feels overwhelming at first. Each and every day, I predict it will get easier and easier and easier. It's easier to maintain a clean house than to start with a mess, start with clutter, and then clean it. So I'm really looking forward to day two. I'm going to bed at a decent hour. Good night.